again guys here with Nino's product reviews and I'm going to take a look at the EasyAC S1 Bluetooth speaker with alarm clock. Now as you can see the package is fairly large, um, it is a Bluetooth speaker after all and uh, it comes in a standard package really. If we look at the side of the package here we're going to see some of their descriptions. They see it has FM, 3.2 inch LCD, I was almost about to say 32. Uh, of course it has the digital clock which is pretty sweet. Uh, it has also uh, different kind of features on the back side of it, technical specifications, things like the 3 watt speakers, each of them, uh, they can go up to 65 decibels, but let's just take it, uh, take it all out and uh, see what this looks like on the inside. Hold on a second, I'm having slight difficulties opening this box, so here we go. Alright, so the first thing we notice is the manual on top. It does look like uh, this is a German manual. Yep, it says stuff in German clearly. Let's take a look if it also has English in it. It does not look like this is the case on this side. That would be very unusual for Easy Act. They usually have English as well. In German, maybe I'm not looking right. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it does have English, and uh, that's good news for everyone who doesn't speak German, I guess. Alright, let's put this aside. We've seen it. Now it does appear like we have a tiny remote control here. Yep. Now this reminds me of a remote control of a AC unit. Uh, they're also about this size. And uh, this is something that I don't see very often on, the, on these Bluetooth speakers. And I clearly value them, although they are IR blaster con remote controls. So they are, their reach is usually only when facing the device. But it's still a nice addition. Hold on, let me try to see if the battery is inside. Yep, it looks like the battery is inside. We'll pull out this plastic part and now the remote control should technically be functional. Alright, let's move on. What do we got here? Oh, we got 3.5 uh, inch audio jacks. This is uh, obviously the cable you're going to need in order to connect your speaker with whatever device you want, like an MP3 player directly, not using Bluetooth. What else? It looks like we have here the normal AC unit, uh, so we can basically charge, not charge, but rather use the speaker. The speaker does not have a battery, it's supposed to be used as a radio. So let's take a look at what's inside. Hold on. They've actually made this fairly difficult to open, which is not that much of a problem. I'm a big man, I can open it. Just hold on a moment. Yeah, there we go. So they definitely wanted this to be packaged very safe and it is. I like that actually. I've seen bad packagings and I've seen different kinds of devices come scratched, I would even say bruised or even defect after being bumped too much during delivery. So this is the antenna, obviously since we have a radio function here. Let's take a look at what else we got going on. Um, on the back we have all the entries, auxiliary in, USB, a few buttons. These are the speakers, and we got one of them, and this should be the other one. I'm very interested to hear how they're going to sound. So let's position everything next to each other. Here we go. Just so you can get a better look of what's inside this package. And the remote control, this is a battery, I guess the battery is for the clock. Alright guys, so I set up the clocks already and as you can see it looks really nice, it's actually pretty gorgeous, but I want to complain on this point, uh, take a look at this. Now this battery cover here on the bottom really is made out of very cheap plastic, I tried opening it and it immediately scratched a bit, so I took something like this, actually not something like that, I took this specifically, it seemed to fit best, and that's how I managed to open it without further damaging it, so you have to be careful and have to take something that's really big. Uh, other than that, it looks really beautiful. The clock is very nice. The unit itself is not very heavy. It's not very light either. And it looks like it's been uh, really built with a lot of care. So let's uh, set up the time again. You have the time button and plus and minus on the back. So you press it once and it's going to ask you if you want 24 hours or 12 hour cycles. So I'm going to leave it 24 hours. Then you click time again and you come to hours and you set them up with a plus and minus and then you click time again and you go to minutes. So I'm gonna set the time here, there we go, and it really takes a few seconds. Let's set up the alarm clock, shall we?
So we have two alarm buttons. One of them is for one time alarm. The other one is for daily alarm. Once you press it, you get three options off radio and buzzing. Let me set it up to buzzing right now because there's nothing special about the radio for me, although that works too. Here we go, now we've set it up and in the meantime while we're waiting for it to start I'm going to also demonstrate to you the dimmer function. Uh, the dimmer function that we see here is a function which will allow you to make the display darker so that if you go to sleep at night it doesn't blend you and disturb you. Here we go. It looks pretty nice. So as you have seen it works pretty well so now all that is left is for us to wait for it to start beeping. Next up we have the cradling or charging function. Now here in the back you will see a USB port. This port can be used to charge your mobile phone or other device. So what I'm going to do is connect my USB cable to it. Here we go. There, nice and slugly. And as you see it immediately starts charging. This is a pretty sweet function because it also has a position where you can place the phone and uh, it stays pretty nicely. Check it out. So now let's see if this device can actually pair up with a smartphone using Bluetooth. It's supposed to, so we're going to adjust it. You see, once we start or we press the button for the power, there will be an option for Bluetooth. And uh, let's start our Bluetooth on the mobile phone. There it is, easy I guess one. Let's wait for the pairing process. There we go, it seems to be pairing. Okay. And now what we can do is we could, as an example, just start the song or something like that and play it. Oh, you got the feeling that I want to feel. Oh. Next up I'm going to try to connect the speaker with my MP3 player. For that I'm going to use the auxiliary cable which we got delivered in the package. So that's pretty nice. Let's connect it to the aux in entry in the back. And the other end naturally is going to go inside my MP3 player where usually the headphones would go. And pretty much the only jack which would fit this cable. Okay, next up we have to start the speaker itself and to set it up to auxiliary. We will see that aux will light up. Now all we need to do is start the music. Next up we're going to set up the radio stations, for that we need to start a speaker again. Now it's in Bluetooth mode, so we're going to change auxiliary next and then FM, there we go. Then we hold the button below the mode and it's going to start searching for the radio stations automatically, just like a car radio would. At the end of this process you have them all saved up and can change them with next and previous. So as soon as the device is connected, you can just leave it. Wait for a call to come. There you have the call. Test, test, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. That's pretty nice. Alright, thank you very much. So as you guys saw, I can receive a call, I can accept that call. And I can also speak and hear people over it. I could if I wanted to make it louder or quieter depending on my preferences. But that function works as well. Now that I've had the chance to test all of these devices functions, I must say that I'm fairly impressed. EasyAC really managed to squeeze a lot of power in such a small device. It really managed to impress me. The clock looks great. The device is built very solidly. The sound is excellent. The radio reception is really phenomenal. I was impressed. And altogether, it's a great package at a really reasonable price. So I personally can recommend it. And I plan on keeping this one for myself. Uh, thank you, of course, for watching my videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.